What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here, and today I want to show you guys how to install Resurrection Remix 10 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now this ROM, I've been getting asked by a lot of people about it and how to install it. So I hope that this helps you, and uh, with that being said guys, let's get into it. So first things first, we have to go and download the ROM, so make sure we go to the XDA forum page for the Resurrection Remix. I'll have the link in the description. And we're going to go right to the ROM source. Once we click on ROM, it should tell us to go to another site to get the actual download. So make sure we get the 860-914-2020 version, okay? So make sure you All download right. that. All right, guys. Once we have everything ready, ready to go, you have all your files on your computer or on a thumb drive, USB drive, we're going to do this. As you can see, these are the installation steps that we have to take. So we're going to boot into TWRP. And most importantly, we need to flash the OOS on both slots, as you can see here. And it's recommended that we use 1034. So make sure you have that. I'll, I'll link it on the video so you, you don't have to go looking around for it. And we're going to wipe data not the system keep that in mind and then we're just going to flash the restoration remix zip file then twrp and then we're going to reboot the system now after all that is done if you want to install magisk do it after the setup screen reboot it to wrp and then do it okay uh i'm just giving you an overview we're going to go step by step so i'll see you guys in a bit all right Okay. Okay. Now that we know what we have to do, let's go back and make sure you have all the files necessary on a thumb drive or on your computer. So number one, we need the latest update of Oxygen OS 10.3.4. And also number two, we need the Restoration Remix OS SIF file, which if you download it, you should have it. And also make sure you have the latest TWRP uh, I'm on 33179. That's the one I'm using. So make sure you use the latest. So with that out of the way, let's continue. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go into TWRP. And you're going to go ahead and input your password. We're going to swipe to allow modifications. Like I said, make sure you have a USB drive ready to go or have your cable ready for your computer because we're going to be formatting and that's going to erase your content in your phone okay so all right so we're going to start with uh, format data so go ahead and format data type yes we're gonna let it do its thing. Once that's done, we're gonna go back, go back again. I'm gonna insert my USB drive because that's where I have all my files. And we're gonna go, well, we're gonna go back again. We're gonna go install, select storage. I have them on the USB storage. So we're gonna go to, to USB storage. We're gonna look for that file. As you can see, I have many files here but I know which files I need. So I need this one here. So make sure you have the correct file. This is the Oxygen OS that we need to flash on both slots. So keep that in mind. We need that one and we need TWRP, which I also have here. So select that. We're gonna add another one and we're gonna add TWRP. Now go ahead and flash. I'm gonna shorten some of the sequence here so you don't have to you know, stare at the screen while all this installs. So I'm just going to shorten the sequence so that we get right to the, to the main details that we need. Okay, so TWRP is already installing. We're going to let it finish.
Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to go back again. We're going to go to reboot. And as you can see, we're in current slot B. Now, what we want to do is change slot so we can install. So just press on recovery. At this point, the phone should reboot into TWRP again. And this is what we're going to do to install OS on the next slot. So wipe to allow. We're going to wipe one more time, guys. And this time we're going to format data again. Type yes. Go ahead and do that. We're going to let it finish. Okay, now we're going to go back, back again, and again, and we're going to go reboot just to make sure that we did change slot. As you can see, current slot A. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go to install. Here, we're simply going to do the same thing. Choose USB storage, look for your files. We have the Oxygen OS file here. We're going to choose that. We're going to add another one and we're going to choose TWRP and we're just going to let it flash and we're going to let it do its thing. Now, Again, I'm just going to shorten the sequence so you don't have to sit here and just watch it. Okay, it looks like uh, TWP is already installing. It's about to be done now. Let's just wait a little bit longer. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, back again. And now this time we're going to do another wipe. We're going to format data. So just type yes or so just enter. And now this is where the good stuff starts. Now here we're going to go back again, back again. We're going to go in and go to install. And look for your restoration remix file. That's right there. We're gonna choose that one, as you can see, and also your TWRP file. And we're just gonna to swipe to flash. And we're just gonna wait till this finishes. Again, we're gonna speed it up so you guys don't have to wait that long. And we're gonna let it do its thing, guys. Okay, looks like TWRP is almost done installing. We're going to continue to wait just a little bit longer. And there we go. At this point, all there is to do is simply just press reboot system. And that's it. We're going to reboot the system and we're going to let it reboot and we're gonna see if it loads into resurrection remix and it should it should just keep in mind that the first boot takes about 10 to 15 minutes now again i shortened the sequences here so it wouldn't be too long but uh it did take about 10 15 minutes so but trust me it'll boot and there you go resurrection remix guys we're going to go through some uh, some of the options here, just so you can see. Just going to go ahead and back up from the cloud. We're going to sign in real quick. Let me just sign in. All right, let me choose a uh, backup from yesterday. All those apps and messages I need to restore. And uh, let me just go ahead and accept all these terms of services, additional legal terms. And uh, look, let me go ahead and put my fingerprint real quick for both fingers. All right. Now that we've done that, let me just go press continue and everything just to get to the desktop. And that's it. Now, remember one thing, guys, I got to spend some time with the ROM, let the battery settle, see if there's any more bugs, see if everything's working, NFC, Bluetooth, GPS, etc., etc. So you're not going to see the 
video until maybe the end of the week or the weekend. And with that being said, guys, I hope this helps you guys to decide to install the ROM and try it out for yourself. And uh, guys, thank you guys for everything. All the likes, all the subscribers that have been subscribing. Thank you so much. That keeps me motivated and focused on bringing you more videos. Uh, just remember, guys, I do what I can. I do have a full time job and uh, all those subscribers and likes to keep me motivated. So, guys, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.